Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So instead of a tutorial today, I'm gonna talk to you guys about how does one Inktober. We're almost into October and there's been a ton of like talking about Inktober and the subject of Inktober. Now, if you don't know what Inktober is, Inktober is a drawing challenge created by the artist Jake Parker. He challenged artists all around the world to draw one drawing a day each day of October in ink. So basically, just use something ink and do, a, do the drawing challenge. That's basically it. It's nothing fancy or anything. Let me show you my past Inktober doodles. This is when I first discovered that Inktober was actually a thing. As you can see by looking at this, I'm a huge fan of the ballpoint pen. This is a regular Bic ballpoint pen and this is honestly probably the only thing I'm going to be using during this Inktober. Now there are plenty of other art supplies. So we got some brush tip pins right here. Pretty cool. Okay. And then of course we've got some nice normal, you know, fine liners. I've got this one. I've got a Prismacolor one. And then of course I've got the, my favorite like Pigma Micron ones. As long as it's done in ink, that's all that matters. Even I got little Sharpie pin. Using Copic markers definitely counts as well. So this was my first official Inktober sketch. So after I realized this was an actual thing, I start, I kept inking so you can see me fine lining this and I, and then I added pencil. I know it wasn't the rules, but I didn't know about the, like the official rules. But as you can see, all this is, is just my regular ballpoint pen. Nothing special about it. That's it. So I'm a huge fan of cross hatching. And if you want, I have a tutorial on one of my previous years that I have done Inktober and I'll put that up in the right right now. So this is completely done in cross hatching. I love cross hatching and that's the technique I use when I use my ballpoint pens. Here's another one. Oh, I love this one, but you can see I actually left out a word. I got the eye of the of tiger of fighters. I forgot the the. <laughs> So this is really cool. It's one of my favorites. Here's another one. So you can see that I actually went in after I made a sketch in ballpoint pen and I went in with some colored pencils and I gave it a little bit of color. Oh, the little grumpy cat and grumpy is so cute. And I got the tooth fairy right here done in ballpoint pen and then accented with some colored pencil. So then this year I did a full Inktober. Now there a lot of them I didn't post the picture, so we got Rapunzel and we'll hiccup and Toothless. So you see in these pictures, you only see me using a ballpoint pen. We got a little stitch. <gasps> Tom and Jerry. Flynn Ryder, one of my husbands. We got little Olaf. We got Ariel and Eric, Goofy, Russell, Mr. Peter Pan. We got Jack Frost and you can see that I actually used a brush tip pin so it looks like this so it's a nice dark contrast looking background. Ariel. We got Woodlawn, that was a really awesome Christian movie about football that came out that year for Inktober. Lady and the Tramp. I got Thumbelina again! <laughs> Little Beastie. And this was actually, uh, what was it, 2015? or it was the Back to the Future 2015. It was the actual date of the Back to the Future 2. So I went ahead and drew Marty McFly. We got Hiccup and Merida, cause I totally ship those two. I ship, ship, ship them. Aurora and Prince Philip. Mary and Bert. We got Chip and Mrs. Potts, and you see, I did. I use Copic markers because that counts as ink. 
We got Mr. Eleven, my uh, fourth husband. We got Jack the Pumpkin King. Yes. We got Mabel and Dipper. So cute. I has the Sanderson sisters. They're here. So this was my first year and then my second year and this was my third year of Inktober. And I will go ahead and put this, the link in the top right corner right now because I actually do a whole sketchbook tour of this one from last year. But I'll just go ahead and flip through that so you can see what's going on. Every single one of my doodles I sketch out. I sketch them out and then I fill them in with my ballpoint pen. Now, this is not cheating. I highly suggest sketch out your drawings instead of going in blindly with just a ballpoint pen. So I started showing that in this previous year with an actual call erase pencil. Now I would go in, sketch it out with my colored pencil, and then I would go in and ink it. I don't freehand and just ink. So that's, it's not a rule that you can't go in and you can't erase, you can't sketch it out in pencil and then erase it. So that would just be absurd for you to go in and just draw something with a ballpoint pen freehand without erasing. It's okay to sketch it out and then color it in using ink. This is my sketchbook for the year. Last year, I bought a moleskin on Amazon. You can get it at Staples and Target. This year, I went ahead and I bought an ELO sketchbook. ELO sketchbook is an Amazon thing. They have their own website. I'll put it in the description box down below if you want a sketchbook like this. I know Jake Parker and one of my other favorite artists on Instagram. She's called The Animated Life. They both got an ELO sketchbook. So I saw that they had an ELO sketchbook and I wanted an ELO sketchbook. I feel like Regina George, like the whole mean girl thing. I saw Regina George wearing cargo pants and I bought cargo pants. <laughs> but I really like this sketchbook because it's an 8x8 and it reminds me a lot of my moleskin. See, my moleskin is just like a little bit shorter. Do I follow a prompt when it comes to Inktober? Yes, and this is Jake Parker's official prompt list for October. Now I'll put it right there as you can see on the screen. I'll go ahead and put that there and if you want to reference back you can find it on Jake Parker's page on Instagram or you can find it on my page on Instagram. So here is everything. So I have everything nice and spaced out for each day and I'm going to go ahead and write down every single thing that I will draw for these prompts. They're just one word prompts and I'm going to take either Disney characters, DreamWorks characters, Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, any of those characters and I'm going to base them off of here or they're Marvel or anime characters it doesn't matter I'm just going to take these words and I'm going to draw what character I see best to this word prompt so it's a lot of fun it's really a lot of fun and I love this sketchbook it's nice and thick not only can it handle my ballpoint pen but it's also going to be handling Copic markers or possibly some nice brush tip pins in here the fact is Inktober is a lot of fun guys. It really really is. I wish I had been participating when Jake Parker officially started this challenge. It's a fun traditional art challenge. It's for you to either improve on your lining or your cross hatching if you're totally into that technique. It's all about improving your lining and just jumping outside the box and totally jumping into this creativity pool of ink wonderfulness. So it's a fun challenge. If you can do at least three of the three Inktober posts this month, you do not have to follow this prompt at all. You can do whatever you want. As you can see, I did whatever I wanted in these two sketchbooks and then I finally in this Inktober sketchbook, I follow Jake Parker. What I'm going to be doing is every day for Inktober, I will post a video. I'm super excited to show you guys all these fun videos, doodle videos, ink videos that I have for you. Make sure you go and check out my previous Inktober videos. They have lots of tips and tricks. And yeah, guys, I hope you really participate with me this year and I will see you all later. Have fun. It's all about having fun and boosting your creativity and just wanting to improve all together with your traditional art. And check out Jake Parker. I'll put all the links down below. He's awesome. So yes, guys, I will see you all later in Inktober. I'm so excited. Bye. <laughs>